Louder with Crowder Studios, protected exclusively by Walther. And Betty! Worldwide now, the coronavirus taking a devastating toll. Confirmed cases now top 300,000. Over 13,000 have died. Elizabeth Palmer is in London tonight tracking the crisis. I was really going to go. Um, Captain St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Okay, guys. That's right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Corona babies. Believe it or not, that's Florida's governor, David P. Alligator. He issued an executive order to see you later, Alligator. I hope you and your friends and your family are as well as can be expected in our new post-apocalyptic world. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. You're watching a very special social distancing edition of The Late Show. Or... What's in my cup such a long quarantine Quarantine not alone You can watch other shows from my club It's a month of everything Make it out alright Alright, alright Hand sanitizer at the door No toilet paper at the store such a long quarantine Oh damn, I think I'm gonna sneeze I swear it's just the allergies Clarity to clear it up, please don't call the police With you. This is called yeah. the I can't really swing my arms for a proper a proper gate for oh, running yeah. because my shirt's too small. Ah. But you can see it's an <laughs> XL. Mm-hmm. So for people who think mm-hmm. I deliberately wear sh- short shirts, <laughs> I find XL shirts that Joke's are Joke's on you. Uh. That's that's really <laughs> yeah. it's more preemptive. Uh, we have a big show for you today. Yeah, and a big yes. month coming up. So first let me Huge. clarify we have Dehi Denagla on the show. Irish gamer, six million nice. subscribers. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but hopefully he's okay. Um, yeah. And yes, awesome. as you uh, saw there, um, I noticed all the other late night hosts. Well, first let me introduce everybody. Stu is here. Stu does America. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is there a specific percentage of Asian I need to be to sit here? <laughs> not so much. No. Good yeah. Honestly, I didn't. We haven't done a twenty-three in me on Bill. <laughs> no. We're not even but sure. I assume there's like we have four percent bulldog. Oh, okay. somewhere down that way. <laughs> His mom spent a lot of time in the live food markets. Quarter Black Garrett is What's here. Up? Audio. Uh, Wade, G. Morgan Jr. How are you? What's one of the day? I'm doing well. I had to look. It's <laughs> Peju Cabernet. It's what? Peju. 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 P e j u. We don't tolerate anti-Semitism on the show. Not. So, um, <laughs> I've noticed that the late night hosts—they're all broadcasting from their bathtub, and apparently yeah. uh, NBC doesn't have the budget for a lavalier microphone. <laughs> right. <laughs> Stephen Colbert, Jimmy God Kimmel, forbid. Samantha B, Trevor Noah. Everyone's gone. We've decided that there are acceptable risks, unacceptable <laughs> risks here at Ladder yeah. of Crowder, and um, there is going to be, it's going to be hashtag Mug Club Quarantine. Uh, if you enter in the promo code quarantine, you'll get $30 off the entire yep. month of April, starting next Monday. Everything that's usually available exclusively uh, at, at Mug Club, The Blaze, all of this program will be available on YouTube as well as three more shows. Yeah. Nice. Morning Drive shows, extra. Good Morning Mug extra. Club. So every Fantastic. night at, is it 9 p.m. Eastern? 9 p.m. Monday through 9 Thursday. And then Eastern. Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 p- 10 p.m. Eastern in, in, in the, the morning, 9 in p.m. The morning. Central. Um, and you guys can live chat. If you are, of course, Mug Club members, yeah. you'll be able to chat. We'll be doing giveaways. Nice. I don't think yeah, I'll be receiving a, a relief check because my wife and I have the gall, I believe, to make over $75,000 a year. Join How dare you? Oh, household sucks. income. But we're still going to give away some money. Sorry. And uh, guns, we'll give away a lot of stuff. Hey, I have oh, no idea. Is it wrong that a minute ago when you said is Samantha that, B's gone that I, I got excited? Yeah, it is wrong. Oh, okay, That's sorry. wrong that you didn't have something more to say about that that was like a punchline. But nope. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to turn and ask, like, is that legal to give away a gun? And I realized, it's just Stu. It's just me. Yeah, oh, but oh, let's yeah. be clear. Half Asian Bill will be here for Mug Club Month. He just, yes. uh, he can't be here right now because of thing. lockdown. Right. And the SARS. Of course. <laughs> of course. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which She's is what I'm most, I'm most sad about, that I can't make SARS jokes anymore. <laughs> yeah. 
that's yeah, lapse. That's now sad. it has to be coronavirus, and that's yeah. more sad than funny. So uh, also, good time this month to subscribe to Crider <laughs> Bits. We're going to have a lot of content going up there on YouTube, also going up on Apple Podcasts, Android, everywhere. So a lot of content. We know that you guys are kind of quarantined, getting a little stir crazy, and we don't want you to feel like you're alone. Uh, go to right. lotoscrider.com slash schedule, where you can see the schedule for the whole month. We really do appreciate it. Not a doctor. So this is how we can give back. I can't yeah, fight is, fire. Yeah, no. When I hear fight fire with fire, I didn't, I'm like, why, why not water? That, yeah. <laughs> then it turns Good out that it's a controlled burn. So it just shows you, don't call me. Call the fire department if your house is on fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if you have a little bit of a tickle, call an ambulance. If you want to watch some you know, juvenile jokes, you tune in here. <laughs> yeah. uh, you, know, you know where to go. Yeah. So we are going to be talking about a whole lot. Dehi Dinagla will be on the show. We'll yep. be talking about nice. how the coronavirus has handed the 2020 election to Donald Trump, <laughs> which brings me to my question of the day. How do you think it'll affect the 2020 election? Do you think it ma makes President Trump more likely, less likely to uh, win re-election? And do you think the daily uh, televised yeah. press conferences have helped or hurt? Spoiler alert, CNN, Rachel Maddow, and everyone on the left thinks that uh, it actually helps them, so they want to stop yeah, broadcasting it. Because like freedom. <laughs> uh, first, all the bad information out there, we do want to do our part, be responsible. You should trust the medical professionals yeah. at the CDC. God's going to put a cancer in the butthole of every sodomite. Every sodomite's butthole will get cancer in the butthole. God's going to have a flame coming out of your butthole. You're going to have a flame coming out of your butthole. If you thought that AIDS was bad, you ain't seen nothing yet. And there'll be people walking around all over America with flames coming out of their butthole. It's a, it's yeah. a, first off, they shouldn't be walking around anywhere yeah, with yeah, the lockdown. That's, right. Well, scary. That's yeah. Stay home if you have flames scary. out of your butthole. Yeah. <laughs> His area of specialty may be proctology. Yes, yeah, yeah, it very, does seem very limited. Limited in yeah. scope. <laughs> he doesn't necessarily understand the geographical <laughs> equation. They'll be walking all over the country. It'll look like a topographical matter of flaming buttholes across the land. Butthole. I don't want to see no topographical matter. I don't want to see butthole flames in the Alps. We don't have the Alps. The Appalachian Trail, you know. Flaming buttholes. It's bad. Um, what's the rise, by the way, of self-quarantining? Oh, awesome. um, it's not that awesome, Gerald. <laughs> 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 um, also the Sistine Chapel. That's yeah, just that's, that is awesome. It's oh, it's all inspiring. Inspiring. disturbing. And Stu, I apologize. It's a little different from the Glenn Beck show. No, it's a yeah. tad different. Uh, yeah. 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 It's, it's a little, little tone. <laughs> So with the rise of the self-quarantining, you know, people live and playing a lot, uh, a lot of board games at home. Yeah, this is a thing right. people in the past in the time. You know, Tom Hanks. Um, <laughs> Here's one thing, a lot of, as a white man, and I get, I don't want to get into the identi identity politics, it's, it's easy to forget that some folks don't feel represented yeah, yeah. Uh, in board games. So it's, it is nice to see some of the toy companies have been stepping up to be uh, more inclusive. Rock'em rabbis! Oh boy! Rock'em sock'em rabbis! <laughs> Boom! Right in the kipper! <laughs> Press the buttons! Move the joystick thingies! Knock his kipper to the floor! Right in the bottom. You're the winner! He's just like me! <laughs> best two out of three? Oh, Dad, you're my best friend! Rock'em sock'em rabbis by Milton Bradstein. Milton Bradstein oh. stepping up to the yeah. They are. Good, good for them. them. You know. Good job. for them. They do control big board game. By the way, <laughs> I, sent that to some, I sent that to my friend, Ben Shapiro, and Jeremy at the Daily uh, Wire. So I'm like, ah, is right. this borderline? Jeremy Boring sent me back a GIF laughing his ass off. There you go. Not, not a peep from Ben. So, Ben, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier for me to ask you. for forgiveness afterwards. It is. Yes. yes. Um, <laughs> it does seem like board games, when you're just handing dice back and forth to each other in a quarantine situation, is not mm. ideal. Right. Suboptimal? Yeah. Yeah. It's just, especially when you have to blow on the dice right. yeah. or rub them on your taint. Yeah. That's it, a weird yeah. thing. Like, that doesn't make it lucky yeah. dice. It does make it lucky. That, game. that does it? help. Oh, yeah. Do it in Vegas. They can't stop. You. They, the casinos cannot stop you. <laughs> Come on, snake <laughs> oh, um, We lost the nest egg. So uh, finally, fast food chain. Not finally. We have a lot uh, to yeah, do. Yeah, we have finally. Yeah. Wishful thinking. Fast food chain. Um, you know, Chick-fil-A, they've been uh, closing their dining rooms, allowing takeout. 
and drive through only delivery orders to combat the spread right. of uh, yeah. coronavirus. Good job. Good job. So good for them. And, but not to be outdone, Taco Bell has announced that their tacos will now contain 14% less bat meat. <laughs> so, yeah. That's good. 14% <laughs> less. But it gives that little taste. Is it, they pick, you <laughs> well, might think that 14% seems arbitrary. Right. They've done their cost analysis. They have, yes. Ratios. <laughs> They can only afford 14%. Uh, by the, in international news, you guys don't do as much international news over there. No, the we do not. No. It's just, it's, Ameri- it's America first. America. America yeah. first. America. Uh, yeah. You stop. Uh, internationally, <laughs> <laughs> Charles, he tested positive for the coronavirus. So, oh. we just, you know, can't catch a break. Tough, yeah. uh, I think we have this from CNN. As someone over 70, the Duke of Edinburgh is considered to be at higher risk than average for yeah. coronavirus. So see, dogs can be carriers. And I know it seems, <laughs> oh, I know it gosh. seems, yeah. it <laughs> seems like a cheap shot, but I took it. That's despite, rough. It is a cheap shot. Despite my, oh, come on. <laughs> she broke up that whole thing. My, Princess Diana? No, I, agree. I agree. Put her next to Princess Diana. See, I've always thought she looked uh, more like a horse. You think a dog. <laughs> yeah. And that was like a dog horse. I just, I thought she looked like that <laughs> Afghan breed of dog. Oh, okay. Uh. But I could see, are we talking like Arabian or talking Clydesdale? Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. I, I, I not a fast horse. I feel like it was a small, a, a, a uh, slow horse. So probably yeah. Clydesdale area, like a, yeah, like a retarded low, horse. Low yeah. Well, wait, no, yes, more uh, like slow, a pack. Man. Slow. Oh, pack slow. slow. Oh, I see what you're oh, yeah. saying. Ah. <laughs> I, do, do we just find in case out we here? weren't demonetized with flaming <laughs> yes. buttholes? You wanted, <laughs> I wanted to make sure it's <laughs> <That's laughs> awesome. awesome. Do, do we find out here if Queen Elizabeth is immortal? Now, um, is that, could that get I don't know. Is it like the blood of the incestuous keeps you young? <laughs> keeps you young but ugly? Is that what it is? Yeah. I watched this Dracula is, on Netflix. Oh, terrible. Um, <laughs> first two episodes were great. Third, third one not so much. Uh, Despite, by the way, uh, another Muhammad's uh, saying that all of your diseases in the Quran that your all of your diseases will be healed if you go to Medina. Hmm. Um, the cities of Mecca and Medina are nearly empty right wow. now, wow. so people yeah. are not making their pilgrimages. There, there, there are no men in Mecca, so you know what that means. It's ladies night, so get your free punch bowls. Get your beatings on the beach. The fear in her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful fear. That was like nice. You're you're into that. I like that. Yeah. The beautiful I'm in the middle of the fear in her eyes. <laughs> the way it should be. <laughs> That's what he was thinking. The way it is meant to be. <laughs> Must present valid identification six and older. By the way, we have oh, oh, come on, that's not a limiting factor. What are they going to not sleep with six year olds? <laughs> What if they want to? Yeah, History comes know. out How much of the reasonable. Reasonable. Um, <laughs> Sorry, you're going to have to, by the way, uh, yeah. put your home in a blind trust. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fun process. And we actually have two non-coronavirus stories, because I know a lot of you oh, have been burnt out. And, and to be clear, too, with the, the, uh, the Mug Club Quarantine, the month, we're doing some live chat with you guys. We will still do the Thursday show. Uh, Tuesday is similar to the yes, Thursday show. Yep. But we're doing a lot more conversational yeah. shows, live video game streaming. So Ooh, if it feels a little yeah, more relaxed I'm right now. That's, you know, that. We can't do this nine times a week. Right. No. We can, but I'd kill myself. And then... Yeah. Then we could. Who are you paying? Then, then, yeah, yeah, then we can. Porter Black Garrett? Stu? Yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> you don't want that to happen. Uh, <laughs> so we do. We have two non-coronavirus stories. Um, in China, an army of 100,000 ducks have been recruited to fight off a plague of locusts. Huh. Oh. So another plague over there. Uh, this <laughs> according to my favorite news source. The book of Revelation. <laughs> <laughs> Beware the four quack men. Might be and, connected. Yeah. yeah that, well, wait, wait, obvious question here. Who kills the ducks when this is over? Because um, now you're going you to need an army of, of tigers to kill the ducks. No, they just oh. eat them alive. They're going to eat them, yeah. They're yeah, going to eat, eat, the eat them alive. Yeah. You will hear the whales across the sea. I feel like you... <laughs> 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 you stop. Such a baby. You said if we got rid of the locusts. I actually wouldn't feel bad for the Canadian geese. They are the they are the They are the, 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 the scum the of the earth. They are the scum, they are the scum <laughs> of yeah. the earth. They poop and they attack. That's yes. it. They have two op- that's it. There's only two modes. There's I have been, poop mode and attack. Have mode. you been I've been attacked by a Canadian goose like oh, three course. times. Really? Like, I mean physical really? contact three wow. times. Yeah. Really? Well, that's who, it. There's who nothing won? Right. Well, it? I mean, I just ran away like a I ran away like a pussy. What am I gonna do? Goose. It's a wild animal. Yeah, and then somebody's got video of you beating up a defensive. They don't animal. register yeah, pain the same way we do, yeah. right? They peck and like, ow, and they're just like, ha, ha, ha. They don't know. They don't care. No. Yeah. I, I have a, fam- a family like his story where I was actually bit by a bat 
as a child. What? Whoa. Yes. What? So you're the Patient reason. Zero. I'm the reason. Like I'm yeah. Wuhan stew. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's true. That's I, gonna stick right now. <laughs> yeah, that's it. My parents that's came it. out and saw there was a bat. Like I guess I must have knocked it or something, and it was it was right next to us, and I had a bite mark what? on my stomach as a little what? kid. What do you mean? You guess you might have knocked a bat? It was bat. before. I they could hang remember. up in the ceiling upside down. There's well, no uh, accidental bat yeah. knocking. What? Well, they came. They swooped at me or something. Okay. And I oh. used my reflexes, my childlike reflexes. Yeah. I was able to knock down the bat. The bat mm. somehow struggled to its feet, walked over, <laughs> took a bite out of my stomach, and wow. then we have the coronavirus. That's oh, how that happened. But this is wow. like the Rocky the story. Next, the bat just yeah. never goes down. In the like, next Trump presser, <laughs> it came from Stu. <laughs> <laughs> this just in. Stu, stop. <laughs> That's okay, we'll bleep it. Um, long week, getting ready for a long month. Uh, another story, hard seltzer brand White Claw have released three new flavors, right. lemon, watermelon, hmm. and tangerine. Most excited about this news, drunk pussies. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like the White Claw. I'm not a fan. No, no, no. No. Come you on. Like really? the White Claw? I'm all in on the White Claw. Wow. I, I don't care. I have no, I don't, I don't. I never said I was a masculine guy. I never even that's, tried it. That's fair. It was, it was um, going so well for you, Stu. Right up until the last two segments. Here. No, right no. up until the last two. Really? Because I, 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 I think you're doing fine. <laughs> I, really? Yeah. Don't take from him. No, no, he, thank he's you. the bad guy. And don't now take it from him. He, he's, he's a drunk. I, he, I can see that. He, I <laughs> can see he's that. always drunk. He's always <laughs> drinking wine. But he's, for some reason, if you're drunk on wine all the time, I'm like, oh, you're a connoisseur. Yeah, I know. Right. You know culture. Sorry. I don't, I don't have culture. I don't have manliness. I have none of those things. I'm an essential worker. Okay, guys? Are you I'm sorry. Yeah. How did that work out? Schindler's List. Is essential. <laughs> that was actually no. That was a scene. That was. By the way, this is no, no. Hold on a second. Contest. <laughs> no, no, no. Contest. I'm setting that one to Whoa, we, know, we know. Let's keep going. Guys. We know we do film <laughs> opens. Johnny Boy, my, my my Canadian friend, he said, "Hey, how about yeah. you parody this scene?" And it was the very essential focus. I'm like, from Schindler's List before they. What are you thinking? Uh. Are you out of your mind? Uh. And then we had this happened this week. That and then I love him dearly, even Brendan. But he he said, "Hey, can my family come into the studio uh, yeah. um. to watch the show?" And I said, "But they're 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 nine states away." He said, "Well, yeah, but they you know they would plan a vacation." I said, "Well, the tickets are refundable right now." He said, "No, they're driving." I said, "Wait, <laughs> short of loading up the car." To New York on September 12th, 2001, there couldn't be a worse time for travel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a terrible idea. He said, well, they don't really have it there. I'm like, no, they live in a rural area, but they're staying at God, this Hacienda Courts and every Valero station yeah. and touching the gas pump. I'm like, no, Bless their no. Heart. no. So he's working from home. Um, <laughs> he's been sent away. Also is fired. <laughs> Finally, before we'll get, I do want to hear from you guys if you think that 2020 has changed with the coronavirus. I, I think this actually yeah, has cinched, little... cinched it for Donald Trump. But uh, before we get to that, finally, San Francisco, Obviously, you know, that it's been completely shut down. Yeah. Uh, in response to the coronavirus pandemic, residents, they're being ordered complete shelter in place wow. to stay in their homes. It's one of the, the strictest protocols yeah. Uh, yeah. across the country. San Franciscans, uh, of course, responded with, but where will we sh**? <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah. it's a try question. the corner. <laughs> ah. um, the corner's just a byproduct of patriarchy, to That's be clear. It, yeah. it really, yeah. it really is. Angles. People don't talk about that enough. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. They don't. No. Uh, uh, and, and because of the quarantine, though, this is to um, San Francisco. They've, there's been a huge uptick, and you should like this quarter, Black Garrett. We'll be doing in free mug club month. Really? Uh, entering the promo code quarantine. On. $30 off. Everyone gets a student and military oh. pricing. Um, video games will be video game streaming. They're much more popular now oh, nice. in San Francisco. It's been a huge uptick. Some of the titles of actually might surprise you, which brings us to this week's 7 Plus 1. You forgot the fun in the chamber. Just so you know, yeah, we are doing yeah. 7 Plus yeah. 1. And, and Stu, if, if, if Glenn fires you, there is no home for you here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 There's, there's, there's no nice. Yeah. No, 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 no. Consider me the tiger to your Fred Flintstone putting you out of the house. Oh, okay. There's no, <laughs> no way you're getting it. From the intro. Yeah. Um, but we're going to have you read something. So this is 7 Plus 1 uh, of the most popular video games in San Francisco uh, yeah. amidst the uh, coronavirus uh, crisis. There so uh, number seven popular game in San Francisco right now is Call of Duty. So that's, yeah, that <laughs> makes sense. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah. yeah, the kids love that one. It's a yeah. multiplayer game. <laughs> yeah. uh, Stu, how about you take number six? Number six, uh, Resident Needles. Yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> Resident <laughs> Needles in yeah. San Francisco. It's pretty popular. Yeah, no, this actually um, is fun because it's an open world. But it's not without oh, consequences. Number five, Grand Theft Autoimmune Deficiency, <laughs> which uh, makes... Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 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 it's just sad. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, uh, audio wait, give us number four because yeah. I don't want all the liability. Uh, number four, angry turds. I see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That didn't take much work. Um, <laughs> no, it did not. But look, no, you can see it's angry. Look, it's on the Golden yeah, Gate yeah. Bridge. Yeah. There's a lot of work yeah, put yeah. into something so silly. A lot not of detail. Really. <laughs> that could have been time put into research. Uh, number three, popular game in, uh, again, coronavirus quarantine yeah. in San Francisco. Number three, Mortal Kombat meat. So that, and uh, by the way, Raiden was played by a white guy. Yep, totally white. Uh, it's true. Seems very, to me very anytime white. you put on the rice paddy hat, <laughs> the, the rice general paddy rule hat. is just make sure they're actually Asian. Yeah. yeah. At mm-hmm. least. They didn't get the memo. No. 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 Uh, number two, Gerald uh, G. Morgan Jr., All number right. two. Final Fantasy 19, the oh. homosexual curfew hour. Look mm. at that. They uh. never stop with the Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> nope. There are so many. Never final. That's and the take curfews so many of them. really matter. Yeah. And the number one most popular video game uh, in San Francisco right now missed the Corona Quarantine, Metal Gear Solid Stool. So, yeah, Solid <laughs> Snake. He just, yeah. He's, he's going to have a flame coming out of his butthole, <laughs> hiding behind bushes and buildings and trying not to make sounds, but his butthole be making all kinds of fiery sounds. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear... He's not actually from the CDC. I don't oh, want you yes. to fact yeah, check what? this. We're going to get fake news. Oh, and I forgot the one in the chamber. We always figured, so. And the, uh, the, the plus one most popular uh, video game title right now in San Francisco, Super Smash Brothers, which really is, yeah, just yeah, a placeholder. Oh. So that, that concludes <laughs> yeah. this week's 7 plus 1. You forgot the fun in the chamber. Always forget Every the time. one in the yeah. chamber. Yeah. And uh, we uh, will be reading at uh, some of your live chat next week. 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern, Monday morning, our first morning show. Uh, yes. So you can only you can only do the live chat, though, at Blaze. We're not doing it but on YouTube morning, right? Blaze because only. we don't want to give YouTube money. 9 a.m. Yeah. A.m., not p.m. A.m. What did I say, p.m.? You said p.m. Well, we're doing p.m. as well. I'm doing so many shows. Both. Son of a gun. So many shows. I can't stop with the shows. Gotcha. There's so many shows. <laughs> Frankly, the best. So the people, best shows. okay, people, they always say, I do too many shows. I say, no, I can do more. But, I, but they say you give so much. And I do, I do give so much. So, uh, now I do, this is, I think, what do you think, Stu, before we get into this? Do you think this has helped Donald Trump or hurt Donald Trump? Well, it, it's still yet to be seen, right? If this turns into zombie apocalypse, it's probably not going to get elected. Mm-hmm. But uh, maybe can, nobody. If he can come to the point where he looks competent through this, Especially if this thing bounces back, it's going to be, it's, he's going to have some smooth sailing ahead of yeah. him. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think he's, I think it's going to go pretty well. I think this actually has already since the deal. Let me kind of make some points as to why, and you guys can let me know where you think I'm wrong. Yeah. You can let me know, as you very often do. Uh, the media has been trying to claim that he's been terrible at his job, okay? But Donald Trump's overall approval rating, and by the way, this is where polls matter, not like when Bernie Sanders says, look at, Venez- look at Venezuela, they prefer their health care. So right, they, yeah. they do in yeah. Cuba, it's a different deal. but a they thing. die. So they prefer it up until the moment where, you know, they die. <laughs> yeah. So that's, you know, and by the way, we'll be talking with uh, Danagla, who had a, an operation on his testicles. Yeah. Scrotum and testicles operation. Hmm. Unbagged his groceries. Yeah. Yeah. They put him back. One thing that I love, though, by the way, don't you love that right now, <laughs> stores have said don't use reusable bags <laughs> oh, because yeah. they transmit disease. It's like, oh, yeah. for a sec. It's almost like that's why we had plastic bags yeah. and straws. You moron. I love how all that stuff just goes right out the window. When oh, yeah. It's a serious Who thing. doesn't want a straw right now? Weren't we not told that the, you know, the whole environment was the biggest threat? Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Biggest, huge, it's the biggest, huge. It's threat. threat. As, yeah. as soon as something else happens, they all abandon it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. But also, the same, you know, the same sort of Eddie Haskell's, it's still China. It's when it comes to climate change, it's yeah. still China. Yeah, and it's now when it comes thing. to viruses, it's still China. It's <laughs> Debt. Pattern. China. Here. A lot of it. I mean, I don't want to vilify an entire nation of people, but China's a horrible place. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, not the people, but the government. Again, let's be really yeah. clear. Yeah. I, th- yeah. I hope China. that those people are liberated eventually from this government. Now, yes. it's a shame to me that the media is carrying the water for the Chinese propagandist government. Those, you want to know who's not a fan of, of Jake Tapper? All the Chinese who don't work for the government. Yeah. yeah. So this is, where, this is where polls matter because Donald Trump amidst a crisis, and this is kind of important because you see this quite a bit historically. It's a good indicator. 60% of Americans actually approve of his response Huge. to coronavirus. His recent approval rating with that Gallup risen from 44 to 49%. Yeah. Wow. Right. Who do Americans uh, rate the worst right now, by the way? The, the fake, fake lying news media. That's what they rate <laughs> as the worst. Finally. 
aspect of American culture. Second worst is late night hosts broadcasting from their bathroom without a lavalier mic. That's up there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's expensive. We get it. We, we get it. It's raw. It's organic. Samantha B and Jimmy Kimmel. But can't you just take a portion of the twelve million salary and just get a rogue mic? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you were wearing a suit in a bathtub, so do that. Just to, it's, just, it's unreal to me. Something. This is and this is also, by the way, why why they want to lean on YouTube. Right, Vox, yeah, NBC yeah. Universal, they realize they can't compete when they start putting this content. No one wants to watch Seth Meyers in his hallway. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Not more than once at the very least. Yeah, right. I don't know. Well, this God, really, I hope Lily really gets quarantined. Yeah. Uh, because uh, Trump's approval rating for Democrats just overall is 13%, right? Super, yeah. super low. He got 29% approval from Democrats on his handling of coronavirus. Wow. Over yeah. twice the amount of Democrats approve of his handling than just generally like him. That is That's huge. High. That's a big wow. number. I wonder why that is. How much do you think of this is just rallying around the president in a crisis? Any, any, oh, God. I, I mean, here's the thing. I don't think that <laughs> don't because think so. the media has been attacking him nonstop. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you could say maybe, maybe people just are tired of seeing someone getting, you know, pummeled by the bullying media at some point and fighting back. It would yeah. be different, for example, with Barack Obama and there was, you know, there was obviously the, the, the recession or right after 9 11. Yeah. At least people didn't have such mistrust for the media. Whereas at this point, they're very open in their attacks on him. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it, it's a good question. You guys let us know. But I do have yeah. uh, some other points that I think will hopefully build the case that. That hopefully that's not the case. Um, yeah. Here's a point. Okay, so tra travel bans. To answer your question, uh, Stu, I don't know that President Trump has done a whole lot differently than any other president would. I think there's yeah. a limited amount of control that you have. The CDC doesn't really have anything necessarily to do with Trump. They sort of operate independently. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have the right information from China. The World Health Organization did not declare it a crisis uh, or a pandemic until March 12th. So I, I, to be clear, I know everyone's trying to score political points. I can't say that Donald Trump has done everything right or differently than another president. But Johnny Boy, right. who had the horrible idea of the Schindler's List parody, <laughs> had a very good him. point here. God, I do know I one him. thing that President Trump has specifically done differently than all other leaders, and that's his uh, travel ban from yeah. China. It was big. Yeah. Donald Trump banned it early. They didn't do that elsewhere at the same, it, w they didn't do it with the same vigor, you should no. say. And we can compare that directly with his competitor in a general election, Joe Dementia Biden, who claimed <laughs> that the travel ban was xenophobic. So this is remarkable yeah. Yeah. to me. E even if everything else from President Trump were terrible, it was absolutely, uh, let's say mm -hmm. he handled everything as poorly as can be, yeah. He's still not as bad as Joe Biden. It is a miracle. <laughs> yeah. They put up someone in the general. If I'm Donald Trump and I go into this general election, there's a debate with Joe Biden, yeah. right? And he says, oh, it wasn't enough of a response. I just coach Donald Trump, say, all right, let it fly. Well, listen, I put the ban on uh, travel from China. You said it was racist. So when, when would you have put travel restrictions on China, Joe? And he won't, he won't be able to answer. Probably no, pack himself, no. you know, and forget where he is for a little yeah. bit. <laughs> Can you imagine? He's back-to-back he's -back competitors so far are going to be Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden. Like the two right. weakest people to put up against anyone. Yeah, well, side. especially, though, on the coronavirus. In other words, yeah. they ha he has no leg to stand on on what will be the hot button issue yeah, here. Absolutely. I if it were just some random recession or something that happened, they could try and attribute it to policy. Right. Right. But yeah. with this, it's clear as day. Donald Trump did something proactive. You accuse him of racism. And by the way, Biden was just following lockstep with the media. They claimed that it yeah. was nonsensical, uh, an emotional reaction. This is yeah. from Vox, New York Times. They also said that we shouldn't really worry about the coronavirus, that it was less mm. than the flu. But now yeah. they try to act like that's just a right wing talking point. Um, <laughs> we got it from you. One of Italy's, wasn't it one of Italy's uh, uh, virologists? He, he, yeah. uh, he, he, he said um, when he was responding to the outbreak that the fear of the political fallout from enacting a travel ban made the pandemic much worse in Italy. This is what he said. Mm -hmm. Now, the American media was saying, no, 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 don't listen to that uh, guy who works in Italian government. Uh, yeah. It has nothing to do with open borders. Yeah, exactly. And the entire EU was pissed because Donald Trump said, we're handling this better than the EU. We actually put a travel ban in before the EU. And Italy's right. like, well, we put our travel ban in for four, four days earlier and it didn't help us. So now they're all pissed off about that. And it's like, actually, this works. This right. does help stop. It didn't help you. But it is helping well, everybody they, they, else. They, they, Italy only put a travel ban in from China. From they, China, they didn't China, do it. Yeah. The rest of the borders were effectively open. So yeah. we are at a point where political correctness could quite literally be killing people. LGBTQ, AAI, and people died. That's the point here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hands up, don't shoot. I don't. I mean, no. That's the, yeah. this is an actual thing. It is. You don't ban travel from China where the, vi the, the virus originates. People will die. Yeah, yeah. and you go back to like our definition of political correctness is different than the original, right? The original is from Marxist states mm -hmm. where, and, and this is very specific, where the Chinese government, they decided the politically correct thing for doctors to do is deny that there was a virus. Yeah. So this is legitimately, this entire thing is actually uh, an extension of political correctness. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it's dangerous. 
Yeah. It, it's, it's not without consequences. People think it's, well, I'm being nice because I'm not offending people. And we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, Joe. We talked about this, too, going back to your point in the EU. It's great that we have a defensible border right now. It's great that we have a border that we can control to some degree. The EU wishes they had that right now. Yeah. Because people can just come in and go wherever they want. Like you said, a travel ban is only effective if it's everybody coming to your country from right. China, period. Yeah. And it's not the only thing. There's been a, obviously a multifaceted approach from of President course. Donald Trump. But this is one thing that you can say is singularly mm-hmm. unique in comparison to whether it's Biden or Bernie, but it seems like the candidate will obviously be Biden unless, you know, they don't have enough smelling salts. But the point is, <laughs> I think uh, that's a that's a stark contrast. <laughs> and by the, by the way, can we just say, Joe Biden is really unwell. He is not doing well at no. all. This, this yeah, week, really uh, he had Sad. a series of disastrous media appearances. First, I think we have this one with a failed teleprompter on a live stream. Yeah. Watch, it's sad. Beef up the number of responders dealing with the crush, these crush of cases. And, uh, and in addition to that, uh, in addition to that, we have to and boom make goes sure the dynamite. We, uh, we are in a position that we are. Well, let me let me go to the second thing. Let's, let's oh, yeah, it's oh. sad. The president must use the Defense Production Act. Yeah, there is there is no oh, second sir. thing. No, sir, is, let me go to the second thing. Uh, oh, sir. Joe, what's the second thing? <laughs> Third thing. <laughs> three things. There are three more than yeah, one or two. The other one. What I stop. <laughs> well, I like, I like the hand motion there. It looks yeah. like he's checking someone yeah. for testicular cancer. <laughs> and cough? Very roughly. Yeah. Mm. Cough? What? Huh? What'd he say? Huh? What? Huh? I'm fine. What kind of a piece of shit do you have to be to keep putting him out there in that condition? I know. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's really. It's, seriously. It's, it's, I, I'm asking seriously. It's not a punchline. No, someone needs to, like, you just need to have someone waving it off. Like, stop, enough. Yeah. Wave off the fight. Oh, then, then after this, he, what were you going to say? What? Hmm, so oh, there, never, <laughs> what? All right. Huh? All right. Okay. Why he went on, I, I'm so confused. No, because Joe Biden makes huh? me stupider. He's infectious. <laughs> Having watched him, that's uh, the virus we should be most concerned up. about is the Bidenitis. Yeah. It looks like, you know, in Rocky, I think it was Rocky Four, right? Apollo Creed is in there fighting Ivan Drago. Oh, and, yeah. And, the, and Rocky's the black... there. He's got the, the, the towel. And he's right. going to throw in the towel. And he doesn't throw it in. Right. It costs Apollo his life. Right. That's what, like, the, his family needs to be there with the towel and throw yeah. the towel. Yeah. It's over for Joe. And it's very fitting because Putin will kill him. <laughs> That's true. Putin will break him. Yeah. The yeah. symbolism is everywhere. Yeah. Um, they won't do the fist bump, though, because six feet. We understand that. So <laughs> he then went on The View and the responses, they weren't, they were not at all coherent. In Hot Topics, we yes, talked sir. about Trump saying the government would reassess the recommended period for keeping businesses shut and people at home. Are you at all concerned, as Trump said, that we cannot let the cure be worse than the problem itself? We have to take care of the cure. <laughs> that will make the problem worse no matter what. <laughs> we have to take right. care of the cure. No, and this, I don't want to be that guy of the gotcha. In his defense, right. he didn't misspeak. On Thursday, doesn't even start this Friday, I'm in See, I get it all confused. <laughs> I thought he was taking care of the Smiths. Yeah. Right. Uh, right. They're almost an interchangeable. Guy. Perhaps Joy Division. Um... <laughs> Just very sad. <laughs> Full month of it coming your way. Uh, yeah, it really is. Anyway, yeah, I, I agree with you. They need to throw in the yeah, towel. So do. let's get back to coronavirus because that's what we care about right now. Um, the, the Democrats obviously have been blocking, you know, the relief bill. We've been talking about the stimulus bill. They blocked the bill from the GOP um, so frustrating. early on with, um, I think, was it 1,400 pages? This bill, do we know yeah. how many pages it ended up? It keeps changing by the day. They came with You have to pages. pass it. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can before read you can read it. it. Well, yeah, that's their true. counter, Again. I think, had fourteen hundred pages, and it yes. contained all sorts of ridiculous crap that had nothing to do with the coronavirus. Yeah, I'm sure you've heard of this. If you haven't, there's thirty five million in funding for the JFK Performing Arts Center, ninety million for an HIV program, three hundred million for migration and refugee assistance, Green New Deals, these style requirements yeah. for carbon emissions. Mm. Listen. Over 3.2 million Americans just filed for unemployment, okay? Yeah. And the Democrats are demanding 300 million for illegal immigrants and refugees. Yeah. It's, and the Democrats, you, you wonder why America, the heartland doesn't think that you have their best interest at heart because a nutless monkey would be more effective yeah. at putting America first. <laughs> <laughs> right. And one of the things in the, in the bill here that just came out, Ted Cruz was talking about this, I think, yesterday, saying you just raised unemployment benefits from around $11 an hour, which is not enough money for you to sit at home and just collect a paycheck, right. to 27 ish dollars per hour. 
Yeah. That's what they raised it to, about 1100 just over $1,000 a week. Right. You can make around $48,000 a year sitting and doing nothing. Yeah, that's amazing. That's crazy. Amazing. And it's, you're, you're giving them terrible incentives here, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. I know. And yeah. you look at this, and it's, this is just basically, today, 3.2 million unemployed. Is, it's like a trailer for the movie of a Bernie Sanders or Joe Biden president. Right. Oh, right. Yeah, We're yeah, all yeah, seeing absolutely. a preview of it today. It's not fun. Yeah, when people say, oh, this proves that we need a socialized health care program. Really? How'd the CDC do? Yeah, yeah, exactly. How did they work it out? How did it go in Italy? Where right now, if you're over 60, you don't get a ventilator because they're just rationing. They're like, well, listen, you're on your own. Yeah, yeah. In a capitalist country, okay. we have other companies and how, jump on board. Why are we getting testing kits? And more? Ma- we're getting more testing kits because of private labs yes. stepping up. We talked about that with Dr. Cho. We're getting more masks. Actually, Origin, uh, Jocko, Willing, yeah. one of us, they're going to be sending us some masks. They're making masks yeah. right now. 3M, is it Hanes, Honeywell? The private sector has stepped up, and they are the ones who are helping yeah. Americans. Fixing the CDC's crap hole. Yeah, because yeah. the CDC is the closest thing we have to a single-payer program here. Right. And South Korea, who's getting all the praise, they just embraced the free market faster. Right. They, they, yeah. Their government made a decision to go to the private market, and it worked. They yeah. did that, yeah. and they also kind of doxed their citizens, so that wasn't a Oh, yeah. No, no. That was, that was <laughs> that's that a minor part yeah, of the story. That's a minor part. I mean, if you're willing <laughs> to just have Apple hand over your geotagging right. and yeah. then post it for public to avoid Steven. Well, there yeah. you go. <laughs> and we can do the South now. Korea thing. Mm. Also, if we're all... If we're just a monolith racially because it's different. It's People respond true. to diseases a little bit differently. Right. It's more predictable. Yeah. Not saying it because oh, Asians <laughs> oh. saying it because it is not nearly as diverse as the United States and Correct. it's tough to control a virus. We have a different, right. yeah. all different kinds of ages. We have all, we probably have more genders in South Korea now. I'm sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Jeez. They're still on two. Does anyone, does anyone here know how yeah. a pansexual, the molecular, on a molecular <laughs> biology <laughs> level, how they respond to the coronavirus? <sighs> a pansexual I want to see a pandemic. I I pay a nickel to see that cellular symbi- symbiosis in a petri dish. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, I trust Joe Biden's teleprompter more than I trust the DMC. Uh, yeah. DMC looking out for the United States right yeah. now. There are a lot of things that I trust more than the DNC, yeah. namely all of them. Yeah. Uh, here's another thing. This was a big deal, and, and it may seem inconsequential. But I think, to go back to your point, I think this is why Americans think that Donald Trump is doing a better job handling this. And they, if it were just in a vacuum, Donald Trump, oh, we approve, we're rallying around the leader, that wouldn't explain the distrust of the media. That tells me there's a conflict. That tells me that to most Americans, including Democrats, there's kind of a hero and a villain here. Uh, And a big part of that was, of course, if you haven't been following, I don't know, you have the Chinese virus controversy. We continue our relentless effort to defeat the Chinese virus. Why do you keep using this? A lot of people say it's racist. It's not racist at all. No, not at all. It comes from China. That's why. It comes from China. I want to be accurate. As you know, China tried to say at one point, maybe they stopped now, that it was caused by American soldiers. That can't happen. It's not going to happen. Not as long as I'm president. Uh, It comes from China. Seeing some important developments in our war against the Chinese virus. <laughs> I love the pause in China. China. C H I N A. China. China. If, you, if you're gonna fix a problem, you need to speak truth. Yes. You need to. You right. can't be yeah. obfuscated behind behind this all the this political correctness and you have to speak truth and what it is it came from china that's where it well here's, yes it matter why is trump saying chinese virus valuable it's not just because it offends all the right people <laughs> but <laughs> for the same reason it's that instituting a travel ban from china was valuable for yeah. the same reason that trump's brass pendulous sack in comparisons to <laughs> biden's shriveled demented raisinets is valuable trump <laughs> he's not allowing political correctness to dictate policy right. best for americans right, also yeah. i'll tell you why chinese virus is important. And you see this a lot with all of these, and you see it even in the Christian community, in the left community, the, the virtue signaling community, like we should be nice. No, no. You know why Chinese virus is important? Because a communist regime who tried to blame this virus on our American troops doesn't get to rewrite history. Mm, yeah. By the way, sign up for uh, Mug Club this month. The promo yeah. code is quarantine. We're giving away everything plus three morning shows. Uh, oh. uh, you know, $69. You get $30 off. Hit the notification bell if you're on YouTube and you are not subscribed yet because subscriptions don't mean a whole lot. Not at all. And, uh, uh, yeah. Also, Crowder Bit, subscribe. And uh, hey, look, hey, look, Stu's, go, Stu's drinking from his mug. Quick, go to him. See, he can't talk. Oh, oh, he oh, turned he, it he, around. Yeah, that's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, to go back yeah. to the point of the media, th- this is something that's really important to me. I don't know how how more clearly we could see the media overreach right, yeah. right now when they start blame, blaming Donald Trump for 
people eating koi pond oh, no. cleaner. <laughs> when I saw the story, I was like, no, they're not, they're not going to jump on this. Yeah, no. There's no way that they lack the self-awareness to blame Donald Trump right. for simpletons, for mongoloids drinking koi pond cleaner. <laughs> mm. And then they do. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. it. It shows who they are. We've had a hard time getting people to sometimes understand on the left that, hey, look, the media is really biased. Like you're, you're living in that bubble, apparently. This is showing very clearly, like, we're not making this up. Right. We're not just saying that Trump's always right. He's not. When he's wrong, we have to call him out, right? We have yeah, to hold yeah. him to account. But look what they're doing. Some lady murdered her husband, essentially. Right. And some ploy to like, yeah. just, oh, I, we thought I had chloroquine in it or whatever it was. Like, yeah. it, it, and they covered it as Trump. Chloroquine, whatever. Chloroquine. Chlorophyll. What are you, what? Clozapan? Is that wine bottle? <laughs> Do you recork that? I know you have that because I'm you're doing somebody, my best you have to, that. I'm I have no, what were you, you, were, you say, were you about to say there something in your quarterback? No, no, I was itching no. my head. Oh, you were itching your head. Okay. <laughs> itch you can't it's move. A nice, it's a nice head. Can't yeah. Um, let me just give you a rapid fire recap as to all of their, all of the dishonesties here. So. Something you probably heard. Trump disbanded the pandemic, uh, the pandemic uh, unit there at the uh, the CD. Was it CDC or the White House? NHS. I don't know. They didn't say NHS. Yeah. Uh, actually, he just con- just condensed it with other units so that the the expertise could be pulled. It was actually yeah. a decision to yeah. make government more effective and efficient. Not How dare less. he? They tried to say that Trump cut CDC funding, reducing the outreach by one of, from forty nine countries to ten, including cutting their work in China. The truth is, it wasn't a direct cut. It was a depletion of previously allocated funds, and the CDC got that money from elsewhere. So it's a wash. Who cares? And the media tried to say that Trump, uh, of course, called the coronavirus a hoax. No, what he said was that Democrats pinning the blame on his administration was a hoax. And of course, don't forget the fish tank cleaner, but we all understand that one. That one's really (laughs) stupid. It's fun to address, but I don't want to go over it. Here's the deal. (laughs) After years, years of the anti-Trump, the Russian collusion, the UK's quid pro quo, can the general public, how can they trust the media at all? If you've never heard them say one good thing about President Trump, and now they're saying that he's handling the outbreak poorly, when in fact it was the New York Times, the media who downplayed it, we said, yeah. Well, yeah, but hold on, but you said there were prostitutes peeing on, on the Formica. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything Ran that it. you've said is incorrect. Why would they trust you now? Right. What, what do you think? Do you still think it's rallying behind Trump? Or- I, I, I do think that. I, well, I, I think there's a good case here. I mean, and you see this occasionally from media members when they actually will acknowledge something. Uh, the Daily, that New York Times podcast, which is basically 30 minutes of them destroying Trump every day in their minds. <laughs> no, I don't uh, listen to yeah, it. Yeah, so not I, with my compromised immune system. That's right true. <laughs> be safe. Be safe. I'm susceptible True, yeah. to ear aids. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, they uh, had Maggie Haberman on, who was kind of flipped and flopped. Jake from... Gyllenhaal's ugly sister. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and sh- every time expert. she shows up in a cin- on the big screen, I make an audible. <laughs> 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 I think that's everybody. Yeah. Sorry, I interrupted. Yeah. So she said she admitted. She said, you know what? Early on in this situation, Trump banned flights from China. He was called racist. He was called xenophobic, yeah. and it turned out that it was a good move. And it was a big move at the time. Yeah. Now, they, they wrap that in 30 minutes of, of criticism. But at least if they will acknowledge basic truths, it'll at least give us a chance to understand and listen to the criticism. Right. They're so unwilling because they're so obsessed with this guy yeah. that they don't, normally won't even give him a point to his favor no matter yeah. what happens. Right. Yeah. I think it's a real problem. And by the way, um, this is something, too. They complained about the Republican bill. We've heard about this. Go back and forth all week. We'll talk about it yeah. more next week. Like the morning show. We'll be watching CNN and live yeah. fact checking. So it'll be a little bit different guests. It'll be more like a, a podcast, radio show, less late nighty, I guess. Uh, so we'll be able to talk more in depth about the bill. But initially, the left complained that the Republican bill would allow hospitals, this was a big thing, that they would allow elective procedures um, to be put on hold to make room for corona patients. That included abortions, right? So here's the deal. Both sides have accused the other side of playing politics with this bill. You're trying right, to fit yeah. this in and you're trying to earmark this in. Okay, all right. And let's assume that that is true because it is true. Both sides are trying to play a little bit of political football right, right now. Yeah. They're trying to shoehorn their crap in. All right, let's assume all of that is true. What would be more relevant to a bill exclusively designed to curb the coronavirus and hopefully its economic ripple effect and devastation, helping hospitals alleviate their workload by holding all non-essential procedures like abortions, putting it on hold, or as the Democrats tried to shove into their bill, diversity quotas for corporate boards. Yeah, yeah. Hospi- yeah. <laughs> getting hospitals masks, respirators, or making sure that there's a newbie in on retainer as an advisor at Dell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we do have to go to D- D- Denaga here. This is something that's really important, too. Some people are trying to make this case for socialism. I think if you yeah. actually observe this objectively, you have to take this as a case against centralized against government because yeah. the private sector has stepped up and tried to fix a quagmire that was created by government, regardless of who's in office. But 
it also shows us that, you know what? There is a finite amount of resources with government. It's ironic to me that the left, they think, well, this person has more, and so I want to take it. They don't understand that capitalism, free enterprise, is not a zero-sum game. No. It's not just a piece of the pie. You can bake more pies. You yeah. know what is a fixed pie? Government. There's only so much money they can take, especially if everybody is unemployed for indefinitely, right? There's a limited amount of resources. So let's take into account the idea that the government, they've had this Russia hoax investigation going on. How many tens of millions, when you add that up in hundreds of millions, but I don't know, billions, don't have the numbers in front of me, the impeachment sham going on. Oh, yeah. And the CDC, how about this CDC? Instead of researching gender pronouns and gun control statistics, you do your job. That way, people won't take a steaming crap on you as an emblem of systematic corruption and bureaucracy in government looking to the private sector for help. There's a fixed amount of resources in the government. Seems like maybe we should be a little more prudent in where we use our resources so that we're not caught flat-footed with our pants down again. All right, this guy, the Irish guy, Danagla, Danagla, Danada, Danada, don't mention that's Spanish. It's Danada. En las madrugadas frescas de Colombia, no hay nada más rico que una taza de café llena de Black Rifle Coffee con un cigarro. No es por ti, amigo. Go to blackriflecoffee.com slash Crowder. Use promo code Crowder for 20% off your first purchase. BlackRifleCoffee.com slash Crowder. Uh, use a promo code Crowder. You get 20% off your first order. And you know what? A lot of sponsors have been dropping out right now because of the economic downturn, and we understand that, but not Black Rifle. They continue to support this show. And sponsors like, like them and Walther are the reason that we can provide Mug Club. Do the Mug Club quarantine month uh, for free for everyone right now while you guys are getting stir crazy. So it's BlackRifleCoffee.com slash Crowder. Use a promo code Crowder. If you drink coffee, theirs is legitimately better. And uh, they have the Testiklausen to sponsor the show. Look, that bag is tough. Oh, did I break it? You know what you can do with them dishes. And if you ain't man enough to do it for yourself, I'd be happy to oblige. You know what you can do with your copyright strikes? And if you ain't man enough to do it yourself, I'd be happy to oblige. Everybody's tweeting at me. I really would. Going on their shows and saying all kind of things, but I don't mind. From where I am, the sun is shining. Here to entertain. Watch this and more at our other channel, Crowder Bits. Anyone who don't like it can get born. Our next guest, yeah. uh, I'm very glad to have him on, and he's he's moved heaven and earth. He is to be on the yeah, show. That's true, because that's those are the names of his right and left testicle. <laughs> Now, people think that's not just being dirty for the sake of it. He actually had a procedure, but we'll talk about that's not the lead. Yeah. Uh, the lead is actually, he's one of the most popular gamers on all of the YouTube, the as uh, Joe Biden refers to it. The tubes. Um, or also, what? So, um, <laughs> you, and he doesn't want to give me his full name because he thinks I'll mispronounce yeah, very, it. So you can search just uh, Nagla on YouTube, but I'm going to try it anyway. Mr. Dithy De Nagla. Uh, Was that even close? Uh, Thank you for being on the show. Oh, God. Okay. All right. <laughs> Am I not needed? <laughs> also, by the way, he, he, he's, uh, he also uh, was from an earlier Guy Ritchie film, just in case you know. Oh, you may speak nice. to confirm. Yeah. Lockstock, yeah. Wait, Guy Ritchie? What? He sounded like a character from Snatch was what I was getting at. Oh. references. Right, right. A good movie. Good movie. It is, like, a, it is a good movie. Film. I love that film. <laughs> so wh how do I say it? It's Gaelic, right? Yeah, Dahi Denogla. Oh, wow. Right. Well, so this is why I didn't say it before. I was like, what is it? Dithy? Is it Dathy? 
You knew I wasn't even close. Just wanted to make you look. You just yeah. wanted me to embarrass myself. <laughs> no, good, no, good I told you not to stay the first part. You're, the second part's okay. Noglas, that's all right, you know. Yeah, but still, you heard me say dithy, and you could have said don't say it because you'll sound like an idiot. But instead, you reverse psychologyed me because you know I'm yeah. an idiot. That's a good job. I don't think. I want to look into it like that. Sure. Okay, I will. <laughs> I will. Um, well, good. So listen. So right now, if I'm not mistaken, and people again, you can follow him. Just type in Denagla. He's on Twitter. He's on uh, YouTube. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, video gaming, which we'll talk about more on the web extended because Mug Club quarantine this yeah. whole month. We'll be doing some live video game streaming. You're stateside right now, correct? Yeah, I'm in LA. Okay. And so, well, you're already so familiar with it that you use the abbreviations. Um, what, <laughs> yes, brings you exactly. to Los <laughs> what brings you to Los Angeles and are you, are you stranded? Can you not get home now? Uh, well, I wasn't planning to go home, so oh. I'm fine. I'm fine being here. Okay. Um, but. Uh, no, I've been traveling back and forth from Ireland to LA. I live in Ireland and I travel to LA frequently. Okay. And I've been doing that for about a few years now. A few years. Now, what so are you? Custom. What are you doing in Los Angeles? Because you do the gaming thing. Seems like you could do that from anywhere. Yeah, I do the same thing. I do the same thing, but I might meet more people that are within the industry, mm -hmm. do deals um, and stuff, network, yada yada, all that. Right. All that boring business jazz. Well, hopefully, when you do the deals, you don't say it that way. Like, I thought we'd do a deal, yada yada, <laughs> you know, stuff. <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> That's how it works, though. So, how long are you planning on, on staying here? For pe You've been on the show before, but it's been a long time. Uh, yeah, it was like two years I was on the show or something like that. Yeah. And I did. I was in Ireland at the time. Um, no, I, I hope to go back to Ireland, I don't know, within two months. Okay. And that seeming. Um, it's, it's it's maybe likely, uh, but right now, I mean, it's got to be a coin flip. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It is a coin flip. Um, well, actually, I think it was the Irish authorities. For people who don't know, they tracked right the first case of the coronavirus. Who flew from a man who was traveling? Uh, was he? Was it Northern Italy? And then I oh, think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Came, yes. And he came into yeah. Dublin, and then he went up to Northern Ireland, and then right, he yeah. left again or something like that. And he was the first person in Ireland to go. Yes. And then I read some of uh, somewhere in the Irish press that they were saying Donald Trump is blaming the EU for needing to add Ireland to the U.S. Mm -hmm. travel ban, which doesn't seem. Have you been following this? Uh, I haven't followed that specific part, but I've just I've seen stuff in news and social media and whatnot, but I wouldn't consider myself an expert. No, I, well, none of us are experts. We're not doctors or microbiologists. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah. you play video well, games and I tell <laughs> jokes. Um, yeah. But yeah. You, you still have family, of course, in Ireland, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have my two dogs there as well, but they're taken care of. They're okay. Oh. Well, they're not carriers, so that's good. Um, no, but dogs can get it, apparently. Really? Yeah, yeah, apparently a dog died from coronavirus. Oh, my gosh. Pretty well, sad. Now, I don't know why I'm that laughing. sounds like a BuzzFeed article. Now PETA will care. <laughs> I don't believe it. Oh, uh, they will. Yeah. They, what, what, how do, would you say they've been reacting there in Ireland versus stateside? Have you been in communication with your family? Is there, is there a big difference? Um, yeah, no, I messaged them. Um, I think it's about the same. My mother bought me a giant fridge and stuffed it full of food. Right. And freezer, just stuffed it full of food pretty early on. Okay. But uh, I actually flew out to America like first week of March, and then it was pretty much like two weeks later, or three weeks later, you couldn't fly. So right. That was four weeks after, or not four weeks, but yeah, about six weeks, four weeks after the surgery. So I got really lucky with how like everything panned out right. to get to LA because right. I have my um, I have my uh, a girlfriend here, so ah, you know little... I don't want to be across the country for like yeah, right. an indefinite period of time right right <laughs> plus you know you got to put a ring on it if you want that visa um or get yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you know sneaky, sneaky. i already have a visa i don't I, I keep i tell her i don't need you for the visa it's not like 90 day fiance and i'm just with you for the green card <laughs> right, oh, right. right yeah I, I actually already have a visa to be here yeah but um, so you reverse you know. psychology to her as well <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty good at psychology. It's pretty good. It's the so Irish it. forte. Um, well, I guess sort of because some people stateside too have been getting this wrong, and I, I spend some time in Ireland. I don't, frankly, I don't have much interest in going elsewhere in, in, in Europe at this point because um, I've had official complaints with Twitter. What is it? China, yeah. Pakistan? Uh, was it yeah, uh, a lot of the, somewhere in the UK for uh, drawing Mohammed? Um, for people here who don't necessarily understand, because obviously Italy, we've talked about this, they didn't close their borders for a long time. 
sometimes uh, mm. people don't realize that the United States, you know, it's bigger than a lot of areas when we're talking about like the UK, right? Or even if you include the UK, I mean, I'm trying to think of all, even surrounding countries, mm. the United right, States yeah. alone is bigger. And so we don't think of how important those borders kind of are when they are different countries in a continent um, like yeah. Europe. Right. Ha- have you, is this something that you think might, for example, have ramifications for Brexit now? Because people over there understand that they need to be able to kind of seal things up in a pandemic? Uh, personally, I, I think, you know, humans are fairly slow to change. So I don't think, I think it'll have very little impact right. politi- politically in terms of like how people perceive borders. They'll probably just boil it down to something else. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? They'll find something else that makes them not think of a change that's necessary for future. Right. You know, it, I, like ideally, because it's so long getting through borders anyway these days right um in, in your lines and whatnot how long so what is it like a, i've only way. done you know i've done customs going obviously to ireland but i having been raised in canada i would go through the canadian united states borders and sometimes yeah. it could be kind of lengthy one time i got in trouble because i bought a pair of shorts from old navy american flag shorts and i didn't claim <laughs> it right. uh and i was put in a back room for a while <laughs> uh but what is it like in flag. europe going through borders right now um, it, it's fairly simple. It's fairly, it's fairly simple. It's a bit awkward going into a country that like they don't really speak your language or anything like that. So, right. uh, but so it's when you're explaining why you're there. But usually, like it's just I'm on a holiday and they're like, yeah, come on in. Well, that doesn't so, s- doesn't sound like a crack security squad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but you do have to line up and talk to somebody and stuff like that but um the ones that i would say are tougher are are like american immigration because you have to like um they have one in shannon and then they have one if you don't fly from shannon to us you have to meet the immigration in the us yeah Mm -hmm. and uh yeah they can be some of them can be real hard asses (laughs) and like if they don't understand what you're saying and i have to explain like my youtube job yeah like they're like (laughs) Plus, with your accent. <laughs> what are you yeah, talking about? With your accent, Americans just assume you're drunk. Like, I got an alcoholic in TSA Line 4. <laughs> well, I'd be waking up tired as well, going off to 6 a.m. flights. So, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, once I got my visa, they pretty much got very relaxed about, like, right. about it. Because, like, this visa was pretty much, like, this guy's safe. Yeah. Everything like that. But before the visa, when I was traveling on an ESTA, they were really like hard ass about yeah. it. And like, sometimes I was like standing there like, might be going home here. <laughs> <laughs> right. That used to happen with my mom. You know, my mom used to make this joke. She's French Canadian. So we would go through the border uh, just north of Plattsburgh in a place called Champlain. People out there, if you know from uh, upstate New York, you know what I'm talking about, let me know. It's, uh, there's nothing there. That's how cool the United <laughs> States enough. was to Canadians. I don't know if you felt this way when you came to, this, to the States, but we would go to the States for like, Taco Bell and Gap oh, and things goodness. like that. And we would always right. go through to Plattsburgh I and my mom would get nervous. And my mom would, when my mom has a tendency, she's French Canadian, when she gets nervous to make other people nervous. And so they would oh, say yeah. in that's the moms, that's just mom. nervous. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've met other moms. They're amateurs with my mom. My dad would go through, they'd say, okay. And uh, citizens. And my dad would say all three American citizens and one alien. And my mom would go beep, beep and hold up her card like this, and they'd say, I don't like you at all. Um, And the French Canadian accent sounds like a cartoon character to a lot of people. It doesn't sound like a real accent. So she was constantly questioned. Uh, I've got to, now here's one thing I do want to ask you because you you had surgery, then you were traveling. A lot of people don't know this because they weren't necessarily traveling, certainly not internationally. It wasn't declared a pandemic, I think, until March 12th. So you traveled before that. Were you really- 10 days before that. Yeah. No, eight days before. And were you really scared? Because I remember I traveled not long before it either, and it, it really wasn't even in the, in the air. Yeah. People act like we all knew. We certainly yeah, didn't when yeah. I was traveling very, domestically. Very Did, were you afraid, or was it just kind of off the radar? Um, well, I, I was definitely more uh, cautious than normal. Um, so, you know, I brought hand sanitizer, wipes. Right. Uh, even even then, they were pretty much sold out in Ireland back back early March. Oh, wow. Um, so, yeah, my mother stocked up on that as well good <laughs> yeah <laughs> the motors yeah <laughs> but, uh, yeah so uh, and thankfully uh, in my second flight i was on the first flight i just i was a seat away from someone else and um so i was good and then my second flight uh, my long flight i was in the back right corner 
and um, no, I couldn't even see anyone from where I was sitting. And so basically, yeah, I was I was never really near anyone. Right. And so I think that made it uh, easier on my mind. Yeah. <laughs> there was no one coughing right next to me, basically. Right. Well, I imagine it made it easier in your mind. And then that, which brings me to my next point. How are your balls? So for people who don't <laughs> oh, yeah. know, you had a recent surgery to quote you in your video. Very you said they, they I hope I'm not blowing the lid off because you did speak yeah. about it publicly. On yeah, YouTube. No, no. It's quiet. <laughs> they unbagged your groceries, you said. Oh, uh, oh yeah. That's, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. <laughs> that's what you said, I think, in your video. I know. I know. I'm just complimenting myself. OK, thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, yeah. There you go. What was the what was the procedure exactly? All right, so it was a hydrosleeve repair. Ugh. Um, it's it's fairly rare. Like one of you guys could have it, and you wouldn't even know it. What? But, uh, what? Huh? Not yet. We're anyway. concerned with other health issues right now. I'm just learning to wash my hands properly. I have to sing Happy Birthday twice. No, you I have to start checking my balls, balls. <laughs> dude. You wash your hands yeah. and wash your balls. Yeah, but I, I don't um, sing. Uh, I don't sing Happy Birthday when I wash my balls. I sing uh, Call on Me from Chicago, the techno remix, because oh. it seems appropriate. Extended. It's like eight yeah, yeah. long. I don't want to imagine that, so we're going to move on here. Yeah. You already are, so I've served but, my purpose. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's hard to see repair. Basically, um, there's, like, this little kind of tube that goes down into your testes. And then around that tube, there's, like, this skin thing. And above that, there's, like, you know, your grind. I'm imagining right. it now, yeah. the graphs, yeah. you know. And then, basically, imagine, like, something, like, just just hole, something hole opened up. Don't know how, they don't even know how it happens. They think it's inflammation, uh. trauma. They don't actually know. And then imagine like a small drip of liquid just coming down through that for like several years. Oh, so you, oh. like for me, it's weird having balls that are normal sized because I don't <laughs> remember when they were normal. Like, so you were just bragging like, to everyone, yeah, like, I've got the around. biggest balls you've ever seen. And they're like, yeah, yeah you might I want to get that, that checked out. I not no, I've got normal balls. <laughs> apparently, they were normal, like, five years ago, because one time when I was going up the stairs, you have, like, boxers that are, you know, a bit showy right, on the sides. Right. I was going up the stairs, and my brother was saying goodnight to me or something like that, and he looked up and saw my balls, and he said... <laughs> He said he remembers that forever. Yeah. He told me they were normal then. All right. <laughs> so you got a I nice pair of normal balls years. there. <laughs> it's about five years of fluid building up, and it was about oh. the size of a. It was a pair on the left side. Oh it was, the right one was fine. It was just shoved out. It was like if you're sitting next to a fat like a person th in a cinema. So, <laughs> but the left Wait, side. Wait, in this in this scenario, are your balls the fat person? <laughs> no. Yes, my left. Okay. My left test your left was a fat person. The right one was a normal person. Okay. All right. So the left and, ball uh, is Kevin Smith, <laughs> and the right ball is whoever is unfortunate enough to sit next to Kevin Smith. I'm trapped. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so the left one was about the size of a pear, and then I was like, okay, I, when I went back down and I got checked out and stuff like that, then they put some fluid on, a, did ultrasound, and like, yeah, that's a hydrocele. Check me in for surgery. I got it actually really quick. I yeah. paid for private. I paid out of cash. Oh, you didn't go with and, the uh, um, you didn't go with the uh, universal healthcare there in Ireland. No, no. My my dad has been on a waiting list. I think for about two years for some surgery or something like that. For his balls like, too. Dad, just, are, are his balls okay? No, Your dad's no, balls are okay. No, like I haven't thing? seen him. Don't know, but <laughs> yeah. it's something else. It's something else with him. Okay. Uh, it's like a reoccurring. I think it might be ulcers or whatever, but um, or kidney stones or something like that. Um, Two but, years for kidney stones? Because my mom in I Canada was a year in, uh, I think it was a year and three months. Or it might, it might have been 14 months and some change for an MRI when she ruptured a disc in her lower back. And Americans can't believe that when I say it. But it, it sounds like it's pretty comparable in Ireland for a lot of these things. It, well, I, I, I think it's two years because I remember being oh, at, the kitchen, wow. at the kitchen table with him. And I was like, hey, let me, let me pay for your... Uh, you know your, your operation you can get it done probably in a few weeks or something like that just picture private yeah and he's just he's just like no like if it i it's fine you know no mm. so, i thought there'd be I'll, more justification like, pay, there no he's like i pay my taxes and they said they're gonna do this so i'm gonna make them do it right so uh -huh. like he's kind of like they work for me mentality in you two know? years so, they're gonna yeah, hear from me in least, two years They'll never hear the end of it. A year and a half. A year and a half, I'd wow. say. Well, you well, know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I goes, Dad, have they contacted you back? And they're like, no. They said they'd do it. And they gave me a letter saying they'd do it. 
Yeah. So, yeah. but well, I don't know what he got. I don't know what he got. You know, this how long has that been the case in Ireland? Because when I was raised in Canada, we weren't allowed to have any privatized um, insurance. And then they opened it up because so many, they declared it actually, there was a Supreme Court case, declared it a violation of human rights because people were willing to pay for care, right, in these scenarios. And they said, you yeah. can't tell someone who's in agonizing pain or life-threatening condition that they can't pay for right, their own right. health care. So did that change more recently? Um, uh, no, I, in Ireland they have you can pay private no problem. Okay. Uh, like my brother, he got jaw surgery a good while back, good few years ago, maybe four years ago, and um, you know I advised him to go private, but he decided to wait on public, and he was about he was waiting nearly a year and didn't get anything. Gosh. So I was like, just get just get private, man. Yeah. And he got private, and he got it. I don't know within. I don't know, a few months or whatever, you know? Yeah. Well, now, if you're stateside now, you can, uh, if you're paying private anyway in Ireland, then you can probably just get a plan here in the United States if you're, you're here and, and get in and out pretty quickly. I mean, I think we had a number, was it Bernie Sanders versus the UK, those heart stints he got. Right, he got yeah, him in, yeah. in three hours here. It would have been really like fast. 50 something days if he was there in the UK. I don't know exactly yeah. Ireland, you know, on an uh, America's pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, America's pretty quick for stuff like walk-in clinics and stuff like that. And yeah, they're fairly, they're very, they're very uh, flexible. Yeah. Um, but yeah, back to my surgery. So, uh, yeah, back to my balls. <laughs> I was trying to veer away from the balls. All right, the balls. You got one more minute. Then we'll continue the ball you. talk on Web Extended because then I want you to go. But full tilt. <laughs> yeah. But continue. Wrap, wrap up the balls. Uh, oh uh, yeah. So basically, the surgery is to make about a three, four inch incision and to take out your whole sac. <laughs> oh, wow. One side. One side. Yeah. Then they drain it. I had an infection, so the oh. tissue was pretty thick down there and they had to cut they had to cut like the tissue and then they wrapped it they put it back in in but the 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 tissue gets wrapped around the ball and then tucked in so you'll always have like a meteor ball than the other one that's so gotta that's be rough it. being that's, a streamer that's the speed that's right? the speed run result yeah it's gotta and be afterwards i don't I, i'm gonna keep talking here. i need to vent <laughs> okay go ahead and vent go ahead and vent but just you know you need to sit in a bean bag if you need to yeah, just, just, just let me go. Just let me fly out here. Uh, I got extreme constipation, which was the worst pain I've oh, ever had no. in my life. While having a surgery near the groin area, it was horrible. And then I, I didn't say this in my video, so this is a little special. I actually oh. went to poop once, farted, and only blood came out. Oh, and I no. turned out I had a hemorrhoid that burst on the inside. So, so I was like, like a shark only with blood it's a uh, that was all within the first week of recovering gosh so it was pretty brutal gosh or not it was fine <laughs> that doesn't sound fine there are a lot of things that i would describe yeah, as fine, fine. uh, uh the bloody fine. stool after having a ball wrapped in mummy cloth is not chief amongst them doesn't yeah. sound fine yeah. well i'm glad you're doing okay it must be hard to sit though like do you have to right, switch yeah. chairs right now to... it's fine right now it's totally fine but uh yeah for a good a good four weeks sitting was just even standing the blood would flow down Ooh. to the area and then you'd get all the sensations back and you could feel the inside of your testicle and like little oh, stabby oh needles you know what's that thing that they put needles on people you know as it's like a, acupuncture a, so, yeah it's like acupuncture in your nut that's how i would, <laughs> yeah. I would describe it and you can't get acu acupuncture. well you can't get them on your balls in the states it's against the toweling laws and uh -huh. i found that one out um apparently it's not part of the spa <laughs> package uh okay so uh it is <laughs> nagla i won't try and yep. get it wrong but it's spelled d-a-t-h-i -D nagla is the youtube channel D -A -I -T -H -I. i did d-a-i-t-h-i what did i say i think you missed the i there uh, yes, i don't know i'm a little distracted talking about <laughs> bloody balls we're gonna go to web extended again remember everyone next week starts monday morning yes, uh, yes. we'll be doing some video game streaming as well in uh, the mug club quarantine mm -hmm. month uh web extended coming right up stay with us Hey, from Mug Club, happy St. Patrick's Day. Can you drop hip hop, bebop? Doesn't mean that they don't love hip hop, bebop, ba ba ba. Dance till you drop hip hop, bebop. I have a shipment coming in, but I just really want this cigar. Like, I want to go to smoke it, yo, back at my office. Love hip hop, bebop, ba ba ba.
Young Turks. So what happened? I thought we were talking about facts. Turks who give you the facts. One other fact that I wanted to share with you is about, uh, you know. So many facts. Reader's Digest in the 1970s made a point to really sensationalize the notion of the So informed you won't need to fact check. That's really bad for business. Real talk, middle-aged Turks. Find the aging Turks live weekdays from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern. Watch them before they die. That's called the gentleman died smoking his pipe underwater. Oh, oh, oh. I like that. He, it's classy. He effectively waterboarded himself through his meerschaum. Yeah. Oh. And this isn't a meerschaum pipe, so people I know will be fact checked on that. Just mm. stop. <laughs> uh, we do have an extended interview, by the way, with the uh, Dahi Denagla. Yes. I'm not going to get it right. Denagla. I'm not. I'm not. Gonna, there's no chance. Mr. Nagla. And I'm yeah. going Mr. to be Nagla. honest. I understood maybe 20% of what he said. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Just being generous. Uh, and uh, in the Web Extended interview, he talks about which video games will be streaming yeah, uh, in the uh, Mug Club. So again, the promo code is quarantine. If you join up at lighthousecreditor.com slash mug club, uh, you'll get $30 off. And the hashtag is mug club quarantine. All month. Go to lightofcutter.com slash uh, schedule. Starting next Monday, three times a, uh, a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, yep. at 10 a.m. Eastern, right? In the morning. In the morning. Live morning show. Chat with people on Mug Club, and then, of course, the full evening show and clips and meet segments. And listen, we really appreciate uh, how much you guys have supported us. And this is not yeah. something that occurred without deliberation. Right. We were sitting here going like, man, well, okay, what are the risks if someone here gets the corona? Mm. Yeah. Or swine flu. That could come back. We never know. We never know. We have a half Asian there all the time. There's a 50 50 shot (laughs) that we end up with some upper respiratory disease or Mm. virus. And let's, I'm not a doctor. I don't fully understand the difference. (laughs) I know that one is bacteria and one is viral. Yeah. That's why you just blanket. You'd be safe. You just be, you just try and play it safe. Yeah. Um, And let us know, you know, what it is that you're most looking forward to. By the way, we'll be live streaming one of these, uh, one of these days. Jean-Guy Tremblay will be uh, live streaming right. video games, I think right. playing Call of Duty with Denagla, so we'll see yeah, how that works out. And uh, what are you most looking forward to here this month? Yeah, I, th- I think I'm, I'm really excited about the just the glut of content. Like, I yeah. think that it's more content than ever, I think, and also for Mug Club members, they'll have more access to you. They'll be able to ask, ask as many questions as they I did say ax. Did you for, say ax? For the That's record. my word. That's okay. Ax, what, are you, me. what are you trying <laughs> out for the NBA? Just appropriate. you have a mixtape yeah. dropping yeah. soon? <laughs> I do. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, there you go. Com. Well, him with All his right. hat. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think... Hey, do you I think, think that maybe coronavirus will take out everyone who shops at Lids? I think about it all the time. Yeah. Not that that would be good, but, you know, it'd just be like, it'd be a bike. <laughs> I gotta go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I, I think the morning show is gonna be so much fun. I think, like, yeah. less structured it will be, you know, fact-checking, live fact-checking CNN. Yeah, I just... I'm, yeah, I think I'm these, excited, yeah, I'm excited about fun. people seeing a lot of other shows that we do all the time. Yeah. yeah that yeah. they don't see, because they're not... I think a know, lot of people don't realize the that there's, like, 80% more content right. yeah. every week yeah, there's a lot at Blaze and Mug Club, and Stu has a show at Blaze. There are all kinds of people yeah. there who have, you don't have to like every show. I don't like every show, but that's the beauty of pairing up and having more relax. We have we have a lot of fun over there, and it's cool to to yeah. be able to give that to people that aren't in the mug club, and they can yeah. kind of see what. That's and a like. big thing too, I will say, it just aggravates me so much when I look at. Uh, as a kid, if I was homesick, I remember mm-hmm. for a while yeah. I'd watch I'd watch the funniest thing I could find on TV, and yeah, that, yeah, right. Martin Sh- Morton Short had Morton Short. Morton. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing for you, Morton, Morton Short. <laughs> Morton, Morton, Morton hosted a show, and you know what? A daytime show is hard. <laughs> so I'd watch Martin Short. Uh, yeah, I would yeah. try and watch. At one point, there was a show uh, with like Danny Bonaduce was uh, opposing the View, and I mean, it's yeah. not you know you don't have a tough act to follow, but anything sure. that was funnier. Yeah. And then if I was sick, you know, at night I would always want to watch Letterman when I was young, and then mm-hmm. like. Yeah. And, and the fact that these late night hosts are, are, are just taking this time yeah, off right. and broadcasting from their like webcams. This is their moment to, to shine. And you know what? Yeah. If like anyone if had, had a moment for an excuse 
to just do a webcam, and it would be the people who started online. This was started in my den. Right, yeah. Uh, Hopper was effectively a producer when I was broadcasting <laughs> from my true. den. But instead, I, I do, I understand this is where people talk about connection, and they think that somehow they're serving you with connection, you know, Jimmy Kimmel, because he's talking into his webcam. Like, oh, he's just like us. No, they're not. And you see how terrible, yeah. honestly, the content, the writing is. Like, yeah. I want this also to lift the veil a little bit for you. People can do photoshops from home. People can shoot sketches from right. home. Now, we don't have 140-something employees like they do. We have it, I think right now we have eight in the office. Yeah. It's usually it's 12, then we have three remote. It's down to eight uh, just to protect some people who can work from home. There's no excuse for people to not be, especially because it's considered an essential service, media. Yeah. You need to know that people are, that, that, that you're being swindled. And um, we're going to do everything we can to try and correct that. Oh, yeah. It's going ex- to be exciting. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited to see a lot of, like, the, the live stream chats the that's gonna be chats. cool be able to interact with you guys while we're doing the show it's yeah, be yeah. Cool. And, and programming wise i mean we've got like ash wednesday which yeah. is more, more conversational we've got mass monday we've got mass yeah. monday yeah uh well, a lot of people don't know you know we'll actually talk about the issues that relate to theology or kind of culture yeah. at large in the morning yeah. show we'll be fact checking live we'll have guests on here and of course some of the stuff that we used to do on the radio show it's a little more free flow we'll try a whole lot of new things and you're probably not going to like all of it i know i won't um <laughs> and one thing i want to say this is not something <laughs> You know, it's not like the Taylor Swift when she wins her, you know, 29th award. Like, oh my God, what? I, did, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, she's gra- grabbing her face like so she's the surprised. abominable snowman after they removed, after Yukon Cornelius removed his teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I see. You know, it's just disingenuous. Yeah. I am really grateful. And I will say one thing. When I released that the kind of cell phone video talking about this uh, Mug Club Quarantine month, a lot of people commented, and it's not lost on me, hey, don't overdo it because we know you had a scare with your health before when you were overworking. And that is true. That has happened before but we've taken all of that into account here and um, I think we're going to be able to do it pretty pretty well I've told everyone here that I am going to be as regiment doing two shows a day is not easy right radio is typically like three hours of prep for every hour of yeah. radio mm-hmm. I would say with this show probably six hours of prep at least for every single hour and then not to mention how many dozens of hours in pre-production um, so I've told everyone, like, it's, I've got to treat this like an athlete. I've got to eat right, sleep right, be disciplined, because I'll have to be up, like, at 4.30 in the morning making sure that we get this, making sure that we get everything fact-checked, making sure that we get all of our sources together before we do a morning show, which is fine for me, because ironically, for late-night hosts, I'm a morning person. Yeah, right, yeah. I'm a morning person. I don't very like the morning. evenings. Hmm. I find them sad. <laughs> So, very, very sad. so I'm very, and it will be as much of a blessing, I think, for everyone here to be able to, because some of us are feeling isolated. Like, our policy is we are only allowed right. in the office and home and quarantine and limiting uh, social contact. Not that we think any of us are going to necessarily die from the coronavirus, but we all have parents, we all have grandparents, and we want to be responsible, especially at this point, err on the side of caution. Yeah. So we are a little bit cooped up in being able to have this direct contact and communication with you guys, especially people who seem to actually care which is remarkable to me. Sometimes people will bring something up and I'll see it or someone will send it to me from the comments section. It could be about something uh, that has to do with Hopper. It could be something that I said in a show someone's listening to an archive from five years ago. Yeah. And that's not the case with every single host. I don't think that Jimmy Kimmel, that Stephen Colbert, that Samantha Bee will ever know what that is like. And that's because they haven't been on this journey with you. It's kind of like the difference between having, you know, having a, a dog since they're a puppy or having, you get to see them grow up. We came up in this together. Yeah. To give you context, I had been doing YouTube videos since 2006, started doing political stuff in 2009. It was a Fox News, PJ TV. When we started doing this show, so this show, full length show was syndicated on radio. The first couple of shows had like 4,000 plays. To the point where I remember saying, well, you know what? Maybe we'll just create Mug Club at this point. Maybe we'll just create it and we'll just put it behind the paywall because I don't think that a long-form show is ever going to work on YouTube. Right. Nobody yeah, wants to see time. this. And then it got to 12,000. And well, maybe we have some. And then 20-something thousand. And then millions of people each month. It is something that legitimately started from the ground up. It cannot, it, a lot of criticisms of this show valid, okay? <laughs> Most of them. I will be chief amongst the criticizers. But the critics, is, critici- is criticizers a word? I think it's also a word, but it's a redundant word. There's no we'll need to give it to <laughs> um, But not a valid criticism is that it's AstroTurf. And that's not because of us, that's because of you. You have decided and dictated how this content moves 
forward. And we want this month to be an opportunity for us all to do that, to see what it is that you like, to connect with you guys. Maybe, maybe you want us to do more long form interviews. Maybe you like us doing the live stream video games. We don't know how it's going to end up or where we will be at the end of this month, but we are so grateful that we get to do it with you, that hopefully we serve you. Hopefully this is helpful to you if you're cooped up at home. And that at the end of this month, we'll still be there with you, even though everyone else phoned it in. So thank you so much. Monday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern. The great experiment begins. Uh, hashtag Mug Club Quarantine. And please, thumbs up and leave something in the comments section right now. Let people know about it because we only survive, uh, I know, like PBS, viewers like you. <laughs> and then $75 billion or $75 million in federal funding. We don't get that. So it really is just viewers like you. Next week, see you Monday.